Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the another video. In this video, I will be demonstrating basic penetration testing. For sake of this video, I have selected basic pen test lab VM from Vullab. This is a small boot to root virtual machine, which is perfect for this demonstration. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the terminal. As you can see, this is my Kali machine and on the other hand, you can see the penetration testing lab is up and running. First, we need to find the IP address associated with this virtual machine. So I'm going to fire up a command that is ARP-scan-L. So what this does, it will find the IP address present in the local network. Okay, so you can use the uh, net discover also. Okay, we got the target IP address. Now let's gather information about target. So I'm just copying this IP address real quick and clear up the terminal. So Nmap is great tool for that. Uh, with the help of Nmap, we can discover host and services on a computer network. The command I'm running is nmap hyphen sc hyphen sv hyphen p hyphen and the ip address that i have recently copied and i'm going to run this command so what it will do the hyphen sc stand for the script scan and the hyphen sv stand for the service version scan and hyphen p hyphen stands for the all port scan so let's quickly run this command and let's see what we get out of this tool okay as you can see we got some some results like we have a port 21 open a port 22 and a port 80 so this machine can be hacked by two method i'm going to hack this machine by port 80 on port 80 there's an apache server running so maybe there is a website let's have a look i'm just opening my browser IP address that I have just copied and try to hit enter huh so uh, there is a website okay let's look for the uh, page sources okay there's nothing in the page sources uh, let's look for the robots.txt huh uh, not found Basically, robots.txt file tells search engine crawlers which page or file the crawler can access or can't request from a website. So, there is nothing in robots.txt. Uh, the robot.txt is not found over here. Just quickly cancel that. And so, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to run a directory busting attack on this website. So what is directory busting attack? It will brute force directories and file names on the web application. So I'm going to use a tool called GoBuster. This is a great directory busting tool. Okay, I'm just quickly typing the command hyphen u stdp. The IP address hyphen w specifying the word list for the directories. Just derb slash okay so as you can see we got some result over here we got some directories and a file that is index.html the one i'm interested in this directory the secret one so i'm just copying this real quick open up my browser the ip address of my target machine is 129 secret so this is some secret blog and this is a WordPress site as I can see over here. This is a WordPress site and uh, as we look more, voila, we got a login page over here. Let's click on that. Hmm, we are having trouble. Okay, so this is redirecting it to the VTC sec so let me just copy this so for that i need to change the dns record in my machine so the dns records are exist in the etc host file uh, 
okay in here i can specify the target ip address that is 192.168.29.129 and i want it to redirect it at vtc sec removing the http okay now we are good to go so if i click if i reload this again okay so uh, as you can see i get the wordpress login page over here there is a vulnerability in ova's top 10 that is security misconfiguration in simple words security misconfiguration can be defined as people uses default credentials like Username can be admin and password can be password. On the other hand, the username can be admin and the password can be admin also. One more thing about WordPress is if the username is correct, like admin, suppose the admin is correct user and password would be some random characters. So if I log in, let's quickly look at the error. The password you entered for the username admin is incorrect. And uh, if I type another username like uh, root hunter and the password, some characters. So it is saying invalid username. So we got that the admin is the correct username and the password can be different. Okay. So as I said, there is a vulnerability called security misconfiguration. So I'm going to try with admin and password and admin admin. If I got lucky and if this website have the security misconfiguration, so maybe I will get the WordPress dashboard. So let's just quickly do admin and password will be password. Okay, no luck here. I'm just trying with admin and admin. Will this work perfect? Now we know the username and password for the WordPress. So this time is to get the shell for this target. Let's fire up the MSF console. In here I'm searching for an exploit that is WP admin shell. Okay, so I'm going to use this exploit, exploit slash unix slash web app slash wp admins shell upload. Let's copy this and uh, use this exploit. Checking for the options. Okay, so in here we need to specify the password. Our host, our host is basically the target IP address and a target URI in which the payload will get uploaded and the username also. Okay, let's quickly uh, define all those variables. Set password, password was admin and uh, set our host is 192.168.29.29 and the username is also admin and uh, one more thing we need to set that is target URI so that is secret okay I think we are good to go let's check one more time uh, the password is admin so our host is set to this IP address this is the target IP address and uh, target URS is set to secret and username is set to admin Okay, let's exploit this. So the TCP handler is started, preparing for payload. Payload has been uploaded and uh, okay. Finally, we got the meta session. Let's check for what user I am. Okay, we are www-data. Okay, let's enter in shell real quick okay now we are in the shell now i'm spawning interactive shell using python so the python hyphen c and uh, importing a module that is pty and from pty dot spawn i'm spawning a bin slash bash let's see 
let's see. As you can see, I got the interactive shell over here. Okay, when we get access to the Linux, firstly, always look for a shadow file. Shadow file contains encrypted user password and the directory for shadow file is etc slash shadow. So I'm going to do now cat slash etc slash shd shadow. So in here we can see there are so many users and uh, this one user is interesting. It's having some password hash. So I'm just copying this all and uh, yeah, let me copy this. Open up a new terminal. And in my machine, I'm going to save this file as user.txt. So this is the username and the sorted password, I guess. Okay, save it. Now I'm going to crack this hash with the help of tool that is John the Reaper. So I'm calling the John and the user.txt. Okay, now the password has been cracked. Mullen Spike is the username, and then Mullen Spike is the password. Let's try to log in with this credentials, shall we? Su Mullen Spike, Spike, right? The password for Mullen Spike is the same. So as you can see, now I'm logged in into Modern Spike. Let's check the IP address real quick. So this is the IP address of the target machine. Till now we get the privilege of Modern Spike, but we haven't got the root shell. Let's escalate privileges to root. In Kali, there is a file unix prefsec check. Let me show you. Locate unix prefsec so this is the file i was talking about unix prefsec check i'll just quickly copy this file to the main directory of my machine and uh, yep so this is the file now i'm going to send this file to the target so, okay, the server is started. Now I'm trying to log in to the modern spike using SSH. So let me just quickly copy this modern spike SSH modern spike at the rate 192. Dot. So this is the target machine's IP address. The password is same. Yep. Okay, now I have logged in. Let's check the IP config. As you can see, I'm logging into the target machine. Let's quickly download the Unix privilege escalation file over here. So this is the IP address of my machine. And of course, the name of the file. Copy, paste. Okay, the file is downloaded. As you can see, the Unix prefix check. Now let's change the permission for this file. To do that, you need to do chmod plus x and uh, the file name. Now the file should look green. Yep. Let's run this file dot slash unix proof sec and i want the output error dot txt okay i forget to mention something uh, we need to do a standard check okay let's wait until we get a shell back okay now we need to look for the warnings from this error.txt file so how can we do that we can do strings 
error.txt pipe grab warning so uh, there's a warning in etc password is a critical config file world ride is set for this okay now let's check this etc password file nano slash etc slash password i guess yeah okay so this is a misconfiguration so as you can see this is the x i can replace this x with the password of my choice let's create the password for this root user or i can do open ssl password or hyphen one in the password i'm selecting password root hunter okay the password has been generated now i need to copy this hash and replace this x with this hash so the file is saved now let's try to log in with the root user the password was root hunter as you can see now i am the root user so that's how you do basic penetration testing that's all from my side today it has been root hunter i'll see you in the next video bye bye